So, hello and welcome to the third stint of the second DS 24 hours race on the new book ring N24 variant. I'm Confuse3 and as a co-commentator I have SIL Eddie with me. Yeah, we have a field of uh, eight drivers. Uh, maybe we will we will get a ninth team in the next stint, but for this one, we will only be eight teams. We have uh, VCE Wavy for uh, the Spider GT team. We have E79 Tornado for Weltman Motorsport. We have Sven Runke for PTE and in front we have GT Ecke for GTA, P0 Soft for DON, then Mr. Hex for RX, McKnockback for Pegasus and the Challenger in the second DON car. And we're off. Pretty serialized in the first few corners. Nothing happened here. Very mature driving from most of them. GTA with the GTA case in front and the gap to the car behind which is a P0 soft is a 1 minute 51 in total now here we have a tornado who wants to get by um, P0 Yeah. Wave C also got past and Sven pushes Tornado wide. He has to uh, wait now. Pretty close together in the beginning stages of the race. Runke with the mighty Supra is good on top speed and has another look on Tornado, but no overtake now. Yeah, the RX uh, team was short on drivers, so they uh, did uh, ask in RRC if they could uh, use some reserve drivers or just uh, a few drivers so that they can race. And RRC obliged and gave them Masma and our player to compete in the stints 2, 4 and 7. But this you stint here is... Already passed GTA. Tornado is also following. Uh, Sven is losing a bit of time now. No damage on any car yet. Except McKnockback, who has somehow uh, gotten damage. On the left side of the car, might have gone wide in one corner and lost the time there. The Audi not the easiest car to drive on this circuit. Yeah, we have seen some... Uh, sorry.
Yeah, tornado is uh, closing in on Ica, but it's too early for an overtake. Wave C. Now building up a bit of a gap here. But overtaking on this circuit is very difficult. There are not many options where you could overtake. Of course, uh, Dottinger Höhe would be one uh, place where most overtakes would happen. But maybe in the next section, there would also be a possibility. And Tornado, whoa. He did think the better of it. He did not uh, proceed with the move, but that was some very aggressive uh, line into the corner. Now this uh, line has cost him because he has now absolutely no uh, speed to gain on Ike. Therefore there will be no overtake attempt here. Sven in the Supra, much better top speed and goes wide, getting damage. But Tornado as well has had some uh, kind of hiccup here. I don't know what happened, let's look in the replay. Yeah, I said that. But in the replay we could see that the... The tornado went off. And lost the time there. Yeah, not a good day for the uh, RX team. First synth was uh, okay, and now this synth begins with damage in the very early beginning. Yes, Sven has a damage, of, so will be a bit of an easy goal to overtake. Uh, zero now on the outside, but Sven doesn't give an inch here. Yes, Sven, of course, with the damage is uh, losing time quite a lot. It's not easy to drive a car with damage on this track, especially if you are on control. Tornado going wide. Could save it though. E zero with a good corner. Coming closer to Sven again. Into Kleines Carousel. Both drivers uh, coming through unskated. Sven with the first line but was able to defend and behind we see a Challenger and Tornado being very close together. The Porsche, a very slow car on the straights and in front we see P0 in the Lexus who's struggling to uh, get the speed out of the car even with Slipstream the Supra is still mighty fast in the straights. Yes, uh, the Challenger also overtook uh, Tornado. Not a good first lap for uh, for the Weltman Motorsport team. Yes, pa Sven has, been, has gone to the pits. Um, now, the strategy, of course, very crucial on this track. Uh, what do you expect for strategies? I think it's mostly four and five lap stints. 
But do you think we can maybe see a different strategy? It's depending if you are able to do 5 laps with your car. For example, Supra has higher fuel consumption. So the Ruka had, had 76% left and is looking he only can do 4 laps, so he have to, only can do 4 and 3 lap stints. He has to do at least one more stop than cars who can do 4 or 5 stints. Or 4 to 5 laps per stint. Yeah, that's uh, interesting. That I see some comments from a uh, Skylight Racer. Hello, Italian Jesus. Wouldn't be the medium an option? Uh, no, the medium would not be an option because the medium is much slower than the soft, and uh, the soft easily lasts for four or five laps. It la lasts long enough for the fuel tank to be e emptied. So uh, the soft is the soft strategy is the only way to go on this uh, circuit. Uh, uh, used soft tires, I think it's still faster than medium used medium tire. Uh, Eddie is uh, quieter than Formula E. Yeah, maybe I can uh, set up something in Discord that I can make him louder. I don't know. Um, let's try 150%. Okay. So test test, can you hear me? I think it's much better now. Uh, chat. You need to uh, say if uh, Eddie is now uh, a bit louder and better to understand. Ike uh, still in P2. 200% please. Oh. But still room to improve. Too I quiet still. I often call uh, info that I'm quiet, but I don't know why. Yeah, then uh, let's turn you up to 200%. But now I, I can't do anything more now. Wave C show some good performance here for the Spire GT team. It's the first race for this team. And in the other two stints, they were uh, a bit in the background. Uh, they have a gap of three minutes to GTA. It's uh, not that much of a gap. Considering we did a drive for uh, five and a half hours, that's uh, good, this, this can still be drunken down. And yeah, let's see if uh, Wave C continues on like that, he will uh, take a good chunk out of uh, out of the gap he has. Happy seven, Mr. Hex, he still continued with his damage. Yeah, maybe, it, this, uh, maybe the damage is uh, just very little and subtle. So, I have seen a mass mod driving with damage and it only cost him about uh, 4 seconds a lap. So he thought it would be quicker to just uh, continue and to pit once less instead of uh, pitting right now and uh, put the strategy in jeopardy. Sven is also quite a fast driver. I have seen that he was uh, leading in the first part of the first stint before uh, before it uh, crashed. Hi, Flipsy. Yes, Flipsy has entered the chat. Yeah. Uh, JP, do you know what position we are overall? Yeah, as I said, you are uh, three minutes behind the leader. 
and you are in position 4 at the moment. This track is so hard to remember. Yeah, uh, how many corners does this track have? 150 or even more? I got a Mario ad, so didn't hear you last time. Seventy-three, I read. And uh, no, seventy-three is way too low. Must at least be double. Ike and P0 are closing together. Uh, Tornado is also only one second behind. Challenger has lost a bit of time. He has damage now. Uh, front and front bumper and front right damper. Since when Uke he repaired his damage, but he didn't change tires or didn't refuel. No, he just repaired damage. I was a. Uh, only repaired. Yeah. Also interesting to see. Pegasus eSport team is uh, writing Bamos knockback. Also, hi Summer. Cool that you're here. Yeah, knockback has gone into the pits and has repaired his damage. Also didn't uh, change tires and refuel. So I think he's still on the... If you look at the fuel, it could be a five-lap strategy. I tried to Google how many corners will lap has. It's way less than I expected. It's only 73. This can't be true. No. It's it's 73 corners only for the Nordschleife. Not, not GP course included, but even with GP course, I think uh, it should be more than 100, at least. Yeah, maybe. But I don't, but I don't know what, uh, which corners weigh the final scores and what are not corners for them. Yeah, difficult to say. Um, it could. So is it a different color? Yeah, okay. Oh yeah. P0 is now in P2, in front of GTEke, and Tornado is also closing. Challenger has gone into the pits. Sven does not have damage. Mr. Hex has now front, left and right damage. That's good, now the car is more balanced. Audi are nearly left the track, only nearly, but loses all time. Challenger he repaired his damage, he refueled, but he didn't change tire. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think it makes sense to uh, adapt the strategy in the early beginning of the of the synth. Plus, uh, we are driving in the, mi uh, the in the midnight hours or in the late evening night hours. So tire wear is a uh, much less of an issue. Tornado has now gone past the uh, Ike. If you look at the uh, tire usage, it's virtually the same. Only a few pixels difference, but Tornado has used a bit less fuel than Ike. Oh, Tornado now in the wall. Has a left wheel damage. Let's see in the replay. Yeah, a bit too aggressive on the throttle. Gotten damage now.
but yeah, damper damage isn't that costly. Only costs about uh, one, maybe two seconds a lap, if not even less. It mainly makes the car a bit uh, less controllable because it uh, begins to steer to the left. But if you're a wheel user, it's not really an issue. Tornado now closing in again. He still keeps up with a good. Let's see, uh, Wave C has great pace, but he also has a lot of tire wear. Much more than P0 with the same car. Yes, P0 is much more efficient with the tire wear. Fuel consumption is the same for both. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe a Wave C is just way more uh, risk taking for corners. And maybe this uh, uses up the tires even more. But with this, if he continues like that, he won't be able to drive uh, five laps, even though the fuel could uh, maybe survive for five laps. The Lexus is uh, pretty efficient on fuel. AMS does 73 and Google does too. And also Wikipedia. Yeah, but other... Uh, it also states that you can count it differently. And I guess it can be counted differently in many ways. 73 corners is only the notch life. If you also count the Nürburgring GP variant into the mix, then you're coming to about 90 corners. And if you're counting it even uh, more rudimentary with the corners that are actually corners, but you can drive them full throttle, then you will probably come to the 120 or 130. Eighty-seven corners. Yeah, really? not really. Even with his front left damage, he can keep up. Or I think he could be even faster than he could. Both Porsche drivers. Yeah, as I said, the damper uh, damage isn't uh, that. Tornado. Does not try to do anything stupid in s stupid plays. No, he doesn't. He even lost a bit of time here. Sven's tires also don't look very great and he goes to the grass. Luckily nothing happened, but tire wear also quite high. The front tires are already used more than half. The Challenger... His tires look a lot yeah, better. Something's happened. Tornado has lost the car. Have we exit of a carousel? Together with Ike, Ike also has damage. Yeah, that's... Oh, okay. Ike um, and Tornado both Porsche driver losing the car or perhaps had a collision. I don't know. Yeah, both, uh, both drivers simultaneously lost control in the carousel. Um, it was Ike at first and... At the same time, it was also it was also Tornado who lost control. They spun in tandem, and this allows Sven to uh, come closer again. The damage of uh, Ike is a bit more severe than on uh, Tornado. Tornado just spun. Ike also got damage. Oil on track on Carousel, yeah, obviously. Also, Hex and Challenger are very close. Fee, can you hear me? 
Yes, I can hear you now. I can hear you in stream, but I can't hear you here. Um, then it's probably on your end, because uh, I can see myself uh, having a green circle when I'm talking. Oh, Lost Agent kann nicht fahren, hat Internetprobleme. P0 fährt und der muss noch eben was essen. Hat seit heute Mittag nichts gegessen, war ziemlich spontan, so jetzt einspringen musste. Ja, okay. This explains why uh, P0 has to drive two stints in a row. Sven is going past Tornado and Icke. Undamaged car against two damaged ones. I can't hear you on the stream, but I can't hear you on the voice channel. I don't know why. Uh, maybe you have to start this court new. Maybe you have to start it anew. Yeah, AK has gone into the pits. Uh, what? Uh, now you can uh, also yeah, now you can hear the stream. That's not from me, that's from Eddie. <laughs> yeah. Wave C with the 8.12 and 8.13 lap times, that's uh, not too bad. The Challenger also in the pits now. He has gotten damage again. And Hex now finally pitting. Something. The most famous you can <laughs> I can't hear you here on voice channel. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's strange. Can't really help you with that. Um, maybe Discord is uh, just silent for you. And I'll try to restart my PC perhaps that will work, but I don't know if it doesn't work. I will, I will come back to you in a few minutes. Okay. Well, within that time period I will be alone and put it louder on Windows. Maybe the EC is on zero. Yeah, that's what I said as well, but maybe a restart of the computer will help him too. Let's go a bit through the field. We have a Wave C in position 1, 18 seconds in front of P0, who is doing a good job considering he drove uh, 3 hours before and is driving again after uh, his teammate has internet problems and can't join. Then we have Sven. He has already pitted in uh, lap 1, has repaired damage, that's why he's uh, 30 seconds behind. Tire wear on the front is atrocious. Then we have Tornado with a damaged left front damper. Doesn't uh, make him slower, obviously. Then we have GT Icke, who has gone into the pit and has damage again. Either he has collected it somewhere or he didn't repair it. Then we have their challenger in P6. 1 minute 58 behind Wave C. Which is uh, after 3 laps. 
and the fourth lap and already two minutes behind then we have Mr. Hex two minute oh nine behind and in the rear in last position at the moment we have Mac Knockback with a gap of two minute twenty seven He has a very um, interesting tire wear because the rear, the rear tires are pretty worn but the front tires are basically new. They haven't been used at all. As we can see it's also getting dark. It's not... Oh, oh no. Knockback now with the accident let's look in the replay oh the crest yeah it was just a bit too hot into this corner so I'm back I still can't hear you voice chill I try to set up a, to get my wife louder. I think it should work, but I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, we, I can hear you clearly and well. But if you can't hear me in Discord, then maybe something in a Discord is strange. Maybe you have muted it. We need to look in the Windows options then. Yeah, Tornado is uh, now behind Sven with a <laughs> lol with a two wheel damage left and right. Now his car probably will uh, steer like usual again. There's probably some damage that isn't that costly. And in this case it might have even improved the drivability again. As for Tornado, I think the strategy for him will be to be out 5 laps. The other ones, when we're going to the pits in this lap, P0 we're going to the pits in the next one. Uh, yeah, on, as long as we can hear... Uh, as long as we can hear only the echo of uh, Eddie, uh, it's better to just... Uh, to just uh, mute the desktop audio so that you won't hear it double. Yeah, the tires of uh, waves, even though it's night, they uh, don't look that well. So uh, even though he has fuel for one more stint, uh, for one more lap, he has to pit now because the tire won't survive that. Or uh, if he continues, then he will have trouble in the second part of the lap where he will lose a lot of time due to severe understeer. Wave C, interestingly, continues on. So. Uh, he will invest into his. Uh, he will invest into the pace because, yeah, with a uh, with this tire wear, it will be very difficult to keep uh, the car alive and to keep the pace. P0 is going to the pits. Sven also goes into the pits, he couldn't have continued anyway because of fuel. Tornado in the pits as well, needs to repair the damage. Tire looks good, but fuel isn't.
Here we have Ecke. One minute twenty six behind, and he has damage. Again, the car only uh, going to about two hundred fifty, two hundred fifty two. Yeah, okay, 255 when it goes a bit downhill. Can you hear me now? The poor voice on my PC was went down to zero. That's strange. Why could I hear oh you then? You could hear me, but uh, the sound on my PC was cl something like close. That's why I couldn't hear you while talking. But yeah, now I found a mistake, I corrected and everything should be fine. Yeah, hopefully. Um, AK has now gone into the pits again, has repaired damage. Uh, I don't know what he did in the lab before, if he repaired I did you I'm sure. I'm sure he didn't repair his damage and stop before because even at the end of a GP course, he still had his damage. Yeah, that's what I thought. Maybe he just didn't uh, repair the damage and uh, press the X button too early or too often. And uh, Mr. Hex now even got more damage. Front, uh, front left, and the right, right wheel on the rear. Mr. Ah. Knockball P8 also has damage at the rear. Yeah, because he spun the lap before, or now he spun this lap. Goes into the pits. A very late decision to go into the pits. I think he nearly forgot to pit. Yeah, at least he uh, didn't smash into the into the barriers like uh, Masma did in his first stint. I was uh, I was proud of him because he was driving a stint without damage at all, and then he steered into the pit, uh, went way too wide because he thought, yeah, the pit entry is a completely different line. And then he smashed into the tire walls <laughs> with engine damage and all. Yeah, luckily he wanted to pit anyway, so it didn't cost that much time, but it was a uh, devastating still. Waves in front has a misfit, but he has a lot of tire wear and he crashed into the wall and has front damage now. That's I want to mention that he had a lot of tire wear because the front left tire is nearly completely dead. Yeah, a bit of a commentator's curse. We uh, talk about him, we look at him, and then he crashes. That's uh, a bit unfortunate. But as you said, I was also a bit surprised that Wavesy continued on driving because his tires look so uh, so bad. I don't think that the tire will really last in this lap because it's only on two or three threads now. And once tire wear kicks in, then he will have a lot of trouble, especially in the next section, which uh, consists of fast uh, corners only. He will probably lose two or three seconds in this section alone once the tire is uh, completely uh, dead. Damage doesn't make it easier for him. Um, I have to disagree. Actually, it makes it a bit easier because tire wear with damage isn't that hard as uh, if you ha don't have damage. So it helps him a bit to keep his tires alive, but uh, due to the damage, he's slower anyway. So <laughs> it's n in both situations, it's not really good.
We have to drink water. We need to stay hydrated. <laughs> yeah, let's look uh, how the tire wear and the damage are costing him time. The gap to P0 is still 1 minute 01. Surprise, I thought the uh, Pissur could gain more time with fresh tires and no damage. Yeah, may now he has gained a, a second. Maybe uh, in the technical uh, in the technical section he will win even more time. The tire of wave see now only one pixel left. Should be enough to bring it uh, to the pit without uh, that much of time loss, but he's still seven seconds uh, slower than his personal best. And now the tire is dead. So uh, the next corner, the next right corner, which is a pretty long one, will be difficult. That understeer will be pretty heavy. Yeah, it doesn't look like it cost him much time, but if we look at the gap, yeah, he was 1.6 seconds lower in this uh, sector alone. So it did cost him a lot. P0, yeah, isn't, as you said, he isn't really getting time, even though he's in the technical sections, even though... Uh, I think even Sven Runke is catching up to P0. Yeah, P0, the lap time is at 8.16, and uh, if you look at front, at the front, we have Weezy, who's still driving in 8.22 uh, or 8.23. Oh, he has run out of fuel! Oh, no. This will cost time. Luckily, uh, he's close to the pit, so... It won't cost him that much, but... It was clumsy to uh, run out of fuel at the end. Now let's look at the straights, because uh, P0 has uh, gained one second through this sector and now he's uh, closing in on the uh, wave C by a few... Uh, by, a few by a few hundreds every kilometer. Yeah, now it's 57 seconds. He fucking smashed into the tire barrier. Isn't he sliding more due to the damage? Uh, no, not really. This guy wants to make the race exciting. Okay, we calculated Wave's fuel a bit short, says Kyle. In terms of fuel, we had no fuel. Yeah, that's why Wave C comes out Two seconds in front of a P0. And Wave C didn't repair the damage, at least it looks like my view. Uh, yeah, for me he didn't repair damage as well, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Looks uh, like he uh, pressed wrong button, wrong time, or uh, anything like Ike, some laps before. Yeah, strange enough, it doesn't really uh, lose time against uh, against P0 on the straights. Quite the contrary, he's gaining on him. Maybe the damage isn't that severe. Or P0 is in fuel saving mode. Whatever it is. I think it's pure pace between both drivers. I'm his team boss, we wanted to repair damage, he clicked on accident, Mao. <laughs> yeah, I think this uh, misclick happened to everybody of us, be the tires or damage repair. Just uh, one click that you didn't want to do and 
the whole race can go to shit. Anyway, we have uh, now focused uh, quite a lot on the two guys in front. Uh, let's look behind. Let's look at... Um, something with the control is wrong. Uh, Sven Runke is now 18 seconds behind Wavesea. Tornado, 5 seconds behind Sven. Then we have GT Icke who is 37 seconds behind Tornado. The Challenger, 1 minute 13 behind. Then we have Mr. Hex, 1 minute 50 behind Wavesea. And McNock back, 4 minutes 11 back. He keeps the car uh, more or less safe most of the time. But his lap times are just not really competitive. P0 is now uh, closing in on the uh, wave seats. 1.7 seconds now. In the corners, the uh, wave seat is a lot faster than P0. I guess he loses most of it on the straight. Ku is uh, cheering for Don. Let's watch this for Ruka. He's catching up to Pisuru slowly. Yeah, a few it's minutes gap was 18 seconds. Now it's about a bit more than 13 seconds. Yes, Sven has a good pace, but I think he's also on a... Oh no, he's not. I thought he might be on a different strategy, but it doesn't look like he is. <laughs> Tornado, 21 seconds behind, is uh, about 5.5 seconds behind Sven. The Dutch drivers for the Weltman Motorsport team. Um, they were registered as four drivers. We have uh, Tornado, we have Paul De Printer, we have King Rowan, and then we, I think we have a fourth driver. Uh, let me look shortly into the document. And I will probably find his name. Oh no, it's only these three. It's a. Uh, ah, oh, this is Sven. Yeah. This is Sven, is a reserve driver. But uh, the three stints are, are driven by uh, Tornado, Paul, King Rowan, Tornado. Uh, they have uh, a somehow different rhythm now. They wrote the mistake, he has front damage now. Oh, yeah, P0 now also with damage. Now he's in the middle of Wave C and Sven. Uh, it's not good for neither driver. Uh, we can see Sven's uh, side lights lighting up. Three of them. That means he's in position three. Uh, that's some that's some lights that uh, the GTE cars do have usually. Uh, the Porsche also has these lights on the sides. And I think no other car at least from the uh, Group 3 category, except these two to have these lights. I think also uh, the newer 
uh, LMP cars and uh, especially the LMH hypercars, they do have uh, these lights still. Look at Mr. Knockback, he's at the uh, at a gap of three minutes twenty-five. You say so often and eh, now like Christian Horner. Look, I'm tired. I'm up since uh, three AM and also English isn't my first language. It's also not Eddie's first language. It could be that these uh, that these expressions come up more often, but I don't think it's uh, that disturbing. Wave C also taking a bit of grass. Sorry. Yeah, I think it's enough if. if we all can understand what each other said. Den red doch Schweizer Deutsch. Verstehe das. Den red doch Schweizer Deutsch. Verstehe das. Ja, klar, könnte ich auch. Das wäre kein Problem. Aber ich glaube, das würde sonst niemandem gefallen, wenn ich auch so weiter rede. Ich glaube, das verstehe ich nicht. nicht mal die Deutschen verstehen das richtig gut. New Colonel Best for Sven Runke. 8 minute 14.360 seconds. He gained nearly 10 seconds to P0 last lap. Okay, P0 had this mistake, but I think. Sven, without damage, he possibly could catch up, and he has done the absolutely new best time in Sector 1. If it was the absolutely best time, we can't uh, say, but it's at least um, faster than the fastest time. In it's at least uh, faster than uh, in the lap of the fastest lap. Uh, yeah, I think we can uh, go to the uh, we can go through the grid again, and wave wave C even with more damage now. Also, his uh, rear le left uh, damper is damaged as well. I don't think it will cost him that much, but eight oh four three was the fastest in the last stint. Yes, I think that uh, have to happen. Uh, that were GP cars, but I, I'm, I'm asking myself where. Uh, maybe he clipped the tire wall in the first chicane. That's one possibility where he could uh, get this damage. Anyway, I wanted uh, to go through the grid, and this time I wanted to do it in the Swiss German, just to. Uh, Please, Drunken Panda, and to, to confuse everybody listening. We uh, had the Glunku Wave C on the first position. Quoked from P0. Hopefully, I can know it. Then the Sven, who now of Three half seconds hinger and P0 is. In three half seconds, the rock is the tornado. In position five, we had Heimer to the Ecke. This is also for the Schweizer Komische Name. Then the flash and move of light. I don't know why. Oh, he, he, he did some flashing, he's doing again. 
Unfortunately, I don't have 10k points. Otherwise, I'd muted you for five minutes. Yeah, I don't know if this works if you have... Um, I don't know if this works if you don't really have these uh, apps installed. Don't know if that works. Their challenger in P6, or if we would uh, translate it in German, we would say their herausforderer, and it's fucking beautiful. Then we have Mr. Hex 339, where I ask myself why he's not called Mr. Decimal. And then in last position we have McDockback who has uh, done a personal best lap of 8.45.2 which is um, not that competitive. And yeah, to come back to the comment about the 8.04.3 that uh, was driven in the second stint in the last stint of the 24-hour race last week the best lap was under 8 minutes so there are still 5 seconds to find now, Wave C is still in front uh, 8.5 seconds in front of P0 he's still extending the gap Whereas P0 Sven. is only a second in front of Sven. Yeah, Sven is catching up fast. I think latest Döttinger Höhe, it should be done, but Sven is old. Sometimes flashing his lights quite a lot. So now he is at his back. Let's see if we can overtake him before a straight. Yeah, let's see. Um, more competitive than Lance Stroll. Um, I don't think that's much of a challenge to you. I think it's enough to stay on the track. Stroll failed to do so today, I heard of. Yes. That's what I heard as well. Unfortunately, I couldn't uh, watch qualifying because I had to uh, visit the course today. Yeah, same for me. I only heard later I watched the qualifying highlights. That was a big impact in the last corner. Very big impact. Yeah, I think the session was um, on hold for uh, 30 minutes. Uh, when I came back home, I, I was surprised to see the guys in Q2 and then I asked, uh, did they uh, postpone the qualifying by 30 minutes? Ah, oh. oh, no, it's only because of the Lance Stroll crash. Yeah, Stroll, well, he was in last corner in Singapore, it's more like a double left corner. First part of corner he went to white and he, he lost the car. He tried to counter steer, that's why he crashed to right side with a lot of speed. Wow, Sven on the outside! Sven overtook on the outside corner. Wow, that was a good maneuver. Unusual place, but yeah, still. Great job. I think P0 also had to uh, play along with it a bit, but nevertheless, it's still a good move. P0 now on the straights, but I think Slusty will be not enough. A Supra with no damage against the Lexus with damage. I think it's clear how it ends. Yeah, let's look at the speed difference. Um, we have a bit of a headwind. But the Supra is still uh, accelerating topping out at uh, 270 
277, whereas the Lexus is at 250 with damage. At the speed difference of 25 kilometers an hour. Even if he did ni 9 minute lap times, can we appreciate that knockback? That's a good job continuing the race. Awesome job. Just Benoga uh, could gain about 5 seconds to wave C, so. Uh, Tornado has gone into the pit, he has damage, so uh, he goes for an early pit stop. Ike, 53 seconds behind Wave C, then the Challenger, 1 minute 20 behind, with the best lap time of 8.22. Then we have Mr. Hex, who is still continuing with damage. And then McNock back, 3 minutes 52 behind. Gotta say also, uh, in the night then it's much more difficult to keep up the concentration. The Challenger now also in the pit, but this was a planned stop. 8 uh, liters of fuel left. We have now one hour of the stint uh, done and dusted and yeah, I would honestly prefer to go to sleep now because I'm just uh, way too tired. At least I'm happy that I do not have to um, drive in this one again because I think this would have killed me. And the challenger with a 3 second penalty because he obviously pressed the pause button. And it means the bot will drive over the line. Back to track. But it will give you a 3 second time penalty. Yeah, that will cost him a lot. That will cost him much more than 3 seconds. It's more like a 5 or even 6 seconds he will lose. The problem with... The Helix coming to the pits. And finally will repair his damage. Yeah, it was about time that he repaired his damage. Challenger Omega. Mac knockback now coming to the Dottinger Höhe. 4 minutes 16 behind Wave C. We're still in the lead despite having damage. The gap still 8.8 .8 seconds. And this time the tires do last a bit better because uh, the track gets colder. It actually is no problem to extend the tire uh, during the night for another lap, but I uh, also saw that it is actually more difficult to uh, save fuel during the night since some, for some reason the cars do have a bit more power, do have a bit more fuel consumption, uh, slightly better top speed. But all in all lap times are staying the same in all conditions. <laughs> 
Now Sven Runke also with damage. The rear bumper and the rear left uh, damper, both, uh, both with damage. Wave see the gold, says GPE. P0 also with damage, 16 seconds behind Wave C. Then Ike, 53 seconds behind, he might be able to uh, to gain a bit of time because of all these drivers in front of him having damage. Although this will be his uh, probably last lap on this. Uh, he, this will be the last lap of his stint. Due to the remaining fuel in the car, it won't last for another lap unless he goes full fuel saving mode. But I don't think this will happen, and I also don't think this will be smart. P0 nearly catch up to Sven. Let's see what's possible there for them. Yeah, Sven has lost a lot of time here. And P0 is better on fuel and better on tires. So he should make it uh, quite soon. Goes a bit wide here, but was able to save it. Nothing major here. Supra is still a much faster car on the straights, even though it also has damage. But uh, I think the rear, uh, the rear end isn't as costly as the front, uh, front bumper. And yeah, the gap actually increases quite a lot here. Top speed to uh, 70 still, and. Not even 255 for PC, it's 15 kph difference here. Okay. Yep, yeah, PCO doing another lap with damage. Let's hope Sven is repairing damage. Yeah, for Sven it's, it was a planned stop anyway. He's uh, very low on fuel. Yeah, I mean, he at least let's hope he didn't forget to repair or click wrong wrap button or anything like that. Yeah, let's see. Hopefully, does it right here. Hopefully, it doesn't uh, fuck it up. Yeah, you can hear some uh, repair work done. And Sven Rumke goes out of the pits. Ike comes into the pits, no damage. Looks like a regular stop. Tornado now in P4.
Yeah, Mr. Hex with damage again. Uh, front and both uh, wheel dampers on the front damaged. He wasn't hit. This is his outlift. That's uh, not a good day for him. Wave C still continuing. Tire wear doesn't look that good. So he will run into the problems again in this stint. Uh, I'm sorry, Eddie, I need a very short break. Um, I will be back in about two minutes. No problem. So I will take Regie. I only can commentate anything, but yeah. Gaps are big, 30 seconds. One, <laughs> nearly two minutes between Challenger and Mr. Halek. Mr. Hex at P6 and 7. 44 seconds between Challenger and Hege at P4. He's tw 28 seconds behind Tornado. Tornado uh, about more than 8 seconds behind Sven. Sven 33 seconds behind P0. P0 has a gap of nearly 20 seconds to Wave C. I'm uh, back again. I, uh, I need to wash my face. Maybe uh, I can get the tiredness out of my face if I wash it. Sometimes that helps. Best time to bring PGS on the stream. Yeah, now we have uh, Pegasus in the stream. Yeah, clock back in the pits. Can Taser and I come visit you in the commentary box? We would love to. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, we are in the Discord chat, so... You need to join there, although we are on the, yeah, we are on the live stream, boys. Don't know if you have access to that, but you can come to the main voice and then we will push you down. Knock back with a three second penalty. Obviously, he seems to have crossed the pit exit line because the uh, penalty came way later. If it would have been a, an entry penalty, it would have uh, appeared right after he came out of the pits. If you would uh, like to, you could interview me. I'm in direct communication with WaveC. Yeah. Yeah, why not? But uh, we also need to keep track of him here as well. Maybe uh, Eddie can do that. Okay, we have 
Tays, Rex and Yannick both in the main voice, I will push them down. It can help, maybe uh, it also helps against uh, my sleepiness. Uh, hold on, one moment. Yeah, too late, you're now down. <laughs> I'm doing it on the phone, okay. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, these, are, it's, these are now Yannick and Taser. Welcome to you both. Thank you. How are you today? Yeah, it's okay, I'm just fucking tired. <laughs> And you both guys are, are driving in the in this race. And yeah. when? Yes. I will drive in stint 4 and 6. Yannick will drive in stint 5 and 7. Oh. Yay. So we have a lot to do now. Yep. Yeah. Will it be fun? Yeah, I definitely. Hope. I did I drive so. the night stint uh, last week and it was horrible because I was uh, as tired as now and uh, it was very difficult to keep up concentration, especially after being up for uh, 24 hours. It, it, is, it was just a torture. Yeah, I know that feeling. <laughs> I had it in the 24 hour race at Le Mans. I drove the same stint, so the stint 5 from 4 to 7. And um, then I had to go to work. That's what that was not very nice as well. And you are sleeping legend in the stream. Yeah, I am. I am the golden sleeping. The golden <laughs> sleeping. Please explain. Um, at the race at Le Mans, I streamed in six. Um, and I wanted to get some sleep and I told the stream I would let the stream up but I will mute myself and go to sleep um, but then my headset turned off and <laughs> um, and then the PS5 controller turned on with the microphone and everybody heard me while sleeping <laughs> That was some fun. <laughs> so they heard you snoring. Yeah. yeah. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most definitely. So you are driving for uh, Pegasus, am I correct or do or is yes. it yes. different? Correct. Yes. All right, we have uh, Think knockback in the car. He has gotten a three second penalty now. Is about halfway in the lap. And his best lap time was a 8.45.2. Yeah, our goal is because of the disconnect um, from Green Hat Driver, our goal is just to go through the race. I think that's fair for the Orga. And yeah, let's see if we can have some fun in the races, but yeah, let's go through and finish the race. That's our goal yeah. today. Oh, Mac back now uh, a bit into the grass, but he was able to save the car. <laughs> and yeah, what's, what, uh, what would interest me is uh, why did you pick the Audi? Why did you pick a car that is uh, so rear heavy? And um, they will have to ask Taser. <laughs> um, we didn't have a lot of time to choose any car. And I saw the Audi. And then I asked Niklas if he would drive the Audi and he said yes. Then I said, okay, then put the Audi there and we would drive it. Yeah, the Audi is a car that I wouldn't choose for this track. Just because yeah. uh, MR cars 
usually aren't really good with the BOP that the GT7 gives us. Unless it's a Porsche, it's a Porsche or even better the McLaren 650S, then they're good. But all the rest is more or less unusable. At least yeah, with we the figured that settings. Yeah, we figured that out as well, but in the race. So, yeah. Or better said, before the race in the practice, but then it was too late, the, the design was ready, and yeah. It is how it is, but... Yeah, you have chosen it, and now you have to stick with it. Yes. But it's fun to drive this car. And, at least, it looks good. So... <laughs> That's debatable. Anyway, uh, let's look a bit through the grid again. We have a uh, Wave C in position 1, 13 seconds in front of Sven Runke, who has a uh, damage right, uh, right rear wheel bump, right rear wheel damper. It will not cost him that much. Then in P3, we have Tornado, who has gotten a half second penalty. Naughty boy, naughty. And. One and a half seconds behind, we have P0 with a repaired car, should now be faster than before. Ike only 53 seconds behind the leader. Then we have Der Challenger, which is 1 minute 47 behind Wave C. Then, then there are quite a bit bigger gaps, we have Mr. Hex, 2 minute 20 behind Challenger and 4 minute 05 behind Wave C and McKnockback 5 minutes 52 behind uh, Wave C. So yeah, now we can't see the library that uh, that well, but you did a special design for this car. Yes, all Lisa. designer did a great job. <laughs> yeah, please explain. What uh, what point is that design is, uh, and why you put this design in the car? Um, yeah, we wanted to stand out a little bit more, um, and it's a special race. You know, 24 hours is always great, and yeah, we wanted to stick out a little bit more, and uh, yeah, that was the idea behind. Uh, and we let our designer do what he wanted for the design. Sure, we said those colors, but it, the rest he did. I think it was 15 hours or 16 hours, so yeah. That was the idea behind the design. Yeah, that sounds interesting. <laughs> Yeah, we are very grateful that he did a great job with the, with the design and delivery. This is... <sighs> yeah. Just happy to race this car. Now it's at night, but um, later we can look at it a little bit more. Yeah, with stints 5, 6 and uh, 7, which are all during the day. Oh, Sven with a drift here. Was able to yeah. catch it again. Turkey drift. <laughs> I was also a bit surprised with the sheer variety of cars that we uh, have seen here. Also, uh, for example, we have seen the Lamborghini Huracan uh, taking part and also qualifying pretty well. Unfortunately, the drivers didn't have time on both weekends, so uh, the car was unused. <laughs> At least for the races, it was only there yeah. in qualifying. But it would also have been uh, a quite interesting approach to go with the Lamborghini, because uh, this car just uh, feeds on the rear tires and it's pretty difficult to keep it, uh, keep the car alive for longer than three laps on this circuit. 
Yeah, it's also very hard to drive like the Audi. It's like it's very I don't know how it's called in English, but <laughs> um, oversteery. Yeah, oversteery. So it's stiff to, to drive. Yeah, oversteery isn't usually a problem that I have. So uh, <laughs> I can uh, I can control uh, these cars well with uh, oversteer. It's just a bit difficult to keep the tires alive because the rears are just uh, worn so much more than the front. And especially for endurance racing, you want to look for a car that is uh, quite even in wear for both uh, the front and the rear tires. So, yeah, like you, Porsche. Yeah, for example, like the Porsche, who's uh, more 50-50 uh, in usage. Or the McLaren, that is even better. I personally like to drive more front-engine cars like M6 or the, or the GTR or I don't know uh, what's there else with the front engine AMG for example but those were sadly taken so we had to use something else yeah I find them quite boring to drive because uh, I want the car where I have to uh I have to challenge it a bit. I want a car that is uh, oversteery because I like this behavior. I don't like cars that are understeery. And yeah. uh, I really only want to drive a, an FR car if it's uh, really useful. Okay. That's why I usually have picked uh, McLaren or Alpha or something like that in the past races because I wanted uh, a car that was more agile and had better steering input instead of a of a front mo front engine car which is a uh, quite slow on reacting to something. Yeah. Yeah, we raced at Le Mans with the Honda NSX we raced there, and I thought it was very good, but not a good car for the Nürburgring. Yeah, but a good car for Le Mans. Yeah, the thing is, we do a BOP for these uh, WEC races, which uh, Le Mans was. So it was a yeah. custom BOP and. The goal is that all 13 GT cars that you can choose have very similar uh, speed. Okay. And mainly I do the POP, uh, Eddie helps me with that most of the time. And okay. I think the POP was quite good for uh, Le Mans. And you know, Le Mans, yeah. yeah. Was some good beat POP, um, yeah. Was also some fun, in ways. Yeah, we also had a big variety of uh, cars. I think we had uh, yeah. eleven different uh, cars that were used, and which is uh, quite a lot considering it's uh, a championship where you can choose your car on your own without limitation. So, yeah. It is actually quite refreshing to see so many different approaches and so many different uh, cars to be used. And also uh, quite fantastic to see that out of four races, three different cars have won. In the first race it was the Lexus, in the second race was the Porsche, the third race was the Ferrari, then it was the Lexus again. Yeah, uh, maybe in the fifth race we will have a different winner all together again. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Bring back in race. Uh, Sven Munk at P2, he's now 1.5 seconds behind Wavesy. Wavesy has quite a lot of damage. Oh yeah, front, uh, front damage, front left. 
damper damage and rear damage. This will make him very vulnerable on the straights. Kyle has written that uh, that wave C spun. That's probably the the reason why he has this damage. But look at this Sven gaining up so much time. He's so much faster. Also, tr also try to overtake here, but uh, this overtake leads to a half second penalty. Maybe he was a bit too uh, aggressive here, a bit, a bit too eager. Oh, not back. P7. We see the best problems. <laughs> Stay on track. Yeah, Mr. Hex has gone into the pits, that's why a uh, knockback has yeah. overtaken. Now we're halfway through the stint, we have a uh, 1 hour 30 minutes. Okay guys, uh, I will get some sleep, chill my stint. Uh, I'm wishing you some fun. Yeah, thank you uh, for uh, commentating with us for this yeah, short sure. period of time. Uh, good no luck problem. in your next stint. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye, good night. Bye. I will go back to knockback to help him. Yeah. I hope you didn't fall asleep in the stream. It's and difficult, but you guys helped a bit. So, thanks. <laughs> no problem. And have fun. You too. Thanks. Good night. Good night, see you too. Pegasus. Yeah, nice guys. Um, I know Pegasus. Whoa, Sven goes wide. Has taken a bit of a shortcut here. I don't think this will give him a penalty. But that was quite dangerous here. Yeah, to come uh, back to topic, I... I do not know the Pegasus team itself, but uh, I do know the leader of the team because he was uh, driving F1 in one of the leagues that I'm that where I was participating in F1 races. I knew him from there, and yeah, of course, when he joined in DS, I I remembered the name. <laughs> it was quite cool to see. Uh, a few of the F1 guys also playing GT7. Despite having the time penalty, Sven is gaining on Weezy very fast and overtakes him now. It's enough. And we have a new leader. Yes, new leader at the stint after 90 minutes. Yeah, Sven Runke now has taken the lead, whereas Wave C goes into the pit to repair the damage. And also maybe to change up the strategy. I think now it would be a good time to uh, switch maybe to uh, another one stop instead of uh, going to the pit twice. Yeah, if he, yeah, if he goes for two five lap stints, it could be enough. But now uh, wave C, yeah, that's exactly what I thought. He went over the line and 
collected a 3 second time penalty for crossing the pit exit line. I did see it happen. It was so unnecessary. Tomato comes out. He puts 16 seconds behind Tickle. Uh, no, he, Kyle, he did cross the line. He did pretty much cross the line. We, I have seen it in the, I've seen it in the stream. Can we report this? He didn't cross the line at all. Uh, no, you cannot report this. He did cross the line, and you have to accept this penalty. Me, on our POV, he didn't. He did. He did cross the line. Otherwise, he wouldn't get a penalty. The game is very strict with that. If you uh, cross the line, that's a penalty. And I think this is also one of the few instances, instances where this is uh, where this is easily programmed and it is 100% correct. One of the rarely things where it's a great game. I believe if uh, if he looks at the replay, he will see that he crossed the line, because we could see it in the in the live stream as well. So uh, it will be the same for Wavesy. It will be even uh, more clear for Wavesy. Okay, let's look again. Do we have some close battles, maybe? No, not at all. Yeah, let's look at the uh, Ike for a while. Uh, I need a f another five minute break this time, not because of sleepiness, on, but because of uh, different issues. Um, maybe, I hope Eddie can talk you a bit through the race. Again, I will leave you on Ikke for about five minutes. I'll be back. So he will 
is a stop at this level. Definitely. has done a mistake. And he has front and front right damage. That's unfortunately at least it's not too bad because I think this lap he will do with a regular stop. Yeah but that could cost him more time to tornado tornado also has front left damage. This old lab. That's unfortunately. If he stops, he will have to do another extra stop. He goes far on with his damage. He loses time over two or three laps. Same goes for Ica, who comes into the pits now. That sounds good for Sven. Yes, Sven comes out from the pits and... Did he repair his damage? Tornado also walks, so he decides to repair his damage with an extra pit stop. He's refueling first, no tire change. And no damage now. Ike also comes out. Ike comes out behind Tornado, so Tornado did jump. Ike in the pits. Interesting. So Tornado now gains a position in this at P4. Ike falls to P5 here. Okay, I'm back. Uh, did I miss something? Yeah, yeah. 
Ich gain some damage. Tornado uh, did the extra pit stop to repair his damage. In this pit stop he could jump Ike for P4. Alright. Uh, I can also see that the P0 is now in front. Uh, 10 seconds in front of uh, Wave C. Uh, they are on different strategies. I think Wave C is uh, en route to pit in lap 15, whereas P0 is uh, pitting probably in lap uh, 14. Sack knockback uh, has a 3 second time penalty. I think I know why. Yeah, probably because he uh, went too far on the pit uh, en entry line. Mr. X crash into a wall. I think he will come to the pits this lap. Yeah, he has no fuel, so... Uh, no damage. Yeah, at least it combines now. So... Yeah, it was good for Ike with his damage because... Uh, he already was doing his regular pit stop, so no, no big time loss for him. Yeah. Also, a shout out to uh, Knockback, his best lap. He has improved himself quite a lot. It's now an 8.28.723, so an improvement of uh, over 15 seconds a lap. So, congr congratulations. He's now really coming up to pace. Now we're looking at the, their challenger. Lap 6 was his personal best lap at the 822.146. The last few laps weren't that uh, promising. 857, the last one, is probably because he uh, it's probably because he came out of the pits in this lap, with the 839 being the pit entry lap. Eight tenths behind personal uh, best. Then again, Ike, one minute oh eight behind P zero. Then we have Tornado in P four, one minute oh two behind P zero, and only five seconds in front of Ike. Strategy wise, they're more or less on the same strategy. I think Tornado might need to pit one lap earlier because he's not, not looking too much into fuel. Mr. Hex down the pits as expected because he has no fuel. Will he even fall behind the knockback? Here we see knockback coming out of the final chicane. If we can even call it that. And beginning a lap now. Hex still pitting. Uh, Mr. Hex coming out of the pits now. Please don't uh, drive over the over the exit line. Thank you.
Yeah, the gas between drivers is pretty high from now. This is uh, normal doing an endurance race without safety cars. So yeah, maybe a question to uh, Eddie. You have uh, brought three cars or three teams to this uh, race. Um, did you decide alone which cars you wanted to, you wanted to take? Or uh, did you also need to uh, fulfill the wishes of the, of your uh, teammates? Yeah, I think uh, together we tested cars to see which car is good or easy to drive or who wants to drive what cars in that in the end. We decided to take the BMW M6 and the Nissan GTR. Both cars are easy to drive. I think both cars are good on this track. The GTR in general is a great group 3 car. When it uh, does not come to top speed. Oh, uh, Wave C hit the wall at turn 2, and now he has rear left damage. Let's see at that in the replay. We can see him um, breaking quite late. We are making the corner. Oh, yeah. And Sven Moon, uh, P0 is behind Sven Monke. Sven has front damage, front and front right. Oh and wow. Tornado, and Tornado again into the pits, oh no. He's showing himself prominently in the mirror. But it will still be hard to overtake the Supra because of the top speed uh, advantage. Oh, Sven losing the car. Yeah, saw it as well. Did if you look at the replay... If you look at the replay, yeah, he uh, lost it. He didn't get more damage, because the damage was at the same place as before. Honestly, cannot wait for this hour to end. Which car actually has the best headlights? Um, do you mean in the best headlights for lighting up the track, which are? Uh, those who have reached for the longest distance or just uh, how they look? That's uh, another question. Because if sorry. it's for effect... Sorry? 
Meanwhile, we have P0 with half a second time penalty. No need to mention. Mr. Hex also half a second time penalty and damage. Oh, yeah. Not really the stint of Mr. Hex. And also not from knockback. with damage, then we have P0 who has no damage, and Wave C, 33 seconds in front of P0, uh, I don't know, maybe let's uh, switch to a different camera. Or this uh, probably to control it. Let's look at this uh, at this angle, especially into this uh, this uh, very technical section with so many uh, right, left, right, left corners. whole section very difficult to drive there's not one corner where you can uh, relax you have to be concentrated all the way Drunken Panda wants to hop into the car. Yeah, I just want to hop into the bed. to the long straights. Top speed without uh, damage or with very very little damage is 266 kph an hour or just kph an hour is uh, stupid. Yeah, same, but first I have to drive Stin Sestra, and up. Uh, 
Wave C is now 35 seconds in front of P0. P0 with a new set of tires. Should now be in temperature for this lap. Runke into the pit. Wants to repair damage. Fuel would uh, last for two more laps. The wave C uh, can gain more time against P0, even with his left, right, left rear damage. Yeah, exactly. And knockback and this Rex are only 10 seconds apart. Maybe we will see a, a battle of them in a few uh, minutes or so. Um, strategy wise, Mr. Hex can go one lap longer, but he has damage front and front right bumper, uh, front right damper, whereas uh, for Knockback, it's only the rear, which is... I think Grand Charles has damage. Front and front left. Who? His fuel is enough, to, he could go for one more lap. Or he can come in now. Yeah, he comes into a bit. So when Runke falls to P4 behind Ike. Yeah, that's uh, after the pit stop, I guess. I'm slowly but uh, surely really fighting against not sleeping in. Maybe the sector times will tell if he loses a bit, lost a bit of time. Um, it is, yeah, I put two seconds. He lost some time somewhere. Because his gap was about, yeah, if it only 37, 38 seconds behind Wave C or 36, now it's 44. Tornado are uh, quite close, two seconds apart.
Uh, Dockback now uh, seven minutes behind uh, Wave C. Still driving with the uh, rear damage. Do a fifth lap. You could, you could do it later, I don't know if. Who could make a fifth lap? That's what I asked. Wow, little drift from uh, Sven, but he was able to uh, control it. Tornado P5, only two seconds behind Sven. But yeah, two and a half. But now losing time, almost trades. No chance against the Supra. I think he nearly lost half a second in total, almost straight. At least, yeah. I think when you had your five minute breaker, I watched someone who served the three second time penalty, he lost about four and a half second total. Yeah, that uh, I think this sounds realistic because uh, you have to break at the point of the corner where acceleration is the most important thing. And if you are if you ne if you need to wait three seconds, you're losing four and a half to five seconds. I'm really trying everything to stay awake, but
we've seen is to go into the pits in this lap. Pretty surely, his tires don't look good, his fuel is up. Fifty minutes left on the clock and then the race timer will be finished. This won't, this won't mean that the... Push-Dick-Knockback, uh, push uh, sagt Taser hier. Und Elo hat gut bekannt, wenn er Front Damage Oh. Das ist ein Gen auf der Fuchssäule. Oh, right corner, he was too fast. Comes to the grass and we're exit, then spun right to the wall. That's unfortunate. Oh yeah, he touched. He touched the weight. Yeah. He touched the grass a little, and this uh, smashed him into the other side of the barrier. We have Wacy, who has got more damage, front and front left, and dead tires. And yeah, that's uh, not too good. It was a past time. And I think if he goes for a five lap stint. I think he will get into lap 22. I think a 5 lap stint will not be enough for him. Let's say it, let's say it takes another 3 minutes for the lap and the pit stop. That's about 32 minutes left. It could be enough if he goes, if he do lap times about 8.25, but he's faster than that. Normally. Yeah, luckily Wavy, Wave C also has to go into the pits in this lap, so of course it is a time loss, but it won't be uh, such a heavy one. Rapback also has a lot of damage. And I think he will will pits anyway due to, to his fuel. Yeah, Mr. Rex also with the damage front I think left and could be left. He's more than seven minutes away and uh, Wave C is not far away. Yeah, but you need a time of about 8 minutes 50. Yeah, we still have more than 40 minutes to go. Ex but yeah, now Wasty will pit anyway. <laughs> I hope this time his fuel is enough.
Mac knockback now in the pits. As you said, it was uh, to refuel and to change tires. Bear the damp dampers. Hang on, Uwe. I believe this is going for uh, Icke, which is 58 seconds behind Wave C. Sure, if, if it's the first time for this stint. Yeah, I don't know, looks maybe it's the second one. Looks good for Reef C as he comes out and Ike, yeah, goes to pits. Front damage only doing 240 kilometers per hour. That's interesting. And he's he's uh, driving his AI, I think. Okay, to be fair, we also have a headwind of uh, uh, 3 meters. Not the massive, but it's, at least it's the total end. I don't try a lot of driving a Wii this car. I don't know what he's doing. Well, he had a night stint. This is obviously very difficult for a lot of people to drive. I think it's already hard enough to do a freeze. Oh no, he left. Oh! The tornado left. Oh no. I, I think it's what not a... I want to say it was not a disconnect. Oh no. Uh, yeah, we can look. At driver, maybe. Yeah, we can't really look uh, what happened, but uh, I can at least. Look at the time when it happened. I remember what I need to eat. Don't need to stash anything about it. It can be a three second penalty, probably for crossing the pit exit line. My god, these people are really uh, stamping this up. Do you maybe know which gap 
Um, do you know which gap Tornado had when he disconnected? I think he was about 8 seconds behind Ike. Ike has now a gap of 1 minute. <laughs> Hex is spanning before carousel and he already has had front damage. At least his last lap was a personal best with 8 minutes 37. He did a stop and now has 3 second time penalty song again. A lot of drivers struggle to not driving over the line and take the exit. Interesting to see. Maybe it's the night conditions and they don't see. Yeah, I'm wondering, I mean, the Porsche, I think, has great headlights. P0 comes into the pits. This will probably be his uh, last stop. He needs to... Uh I 
I'm not sure, I think he could also get to lap 22, so... But getting to lap 22 means the uh, countdown will end and he will definitely not finish with lap 22. But yeah, let's see. Mr. Hex comes out from pits and now again has front, uh, not front, sorry, left rear damage. I think he comes out in front of pits and crashes into the wall and lamp corner, corner two. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, uh, this is a disconnect. This is a disconnect. Yeah, it's uh, not worth continuing this stint now. And yeah, it seems that I need to finish the stream now so that I can uh, guard the lap time, uh, guard the times. Uh, I don't think the stream will be restarted. And yeah, we will just go to stint 4 then. Yeah, also uh, sorry for me not uh, commentating anymore or um, just saying very little because I'm just a uh, really really tired okay um again i'll stop the stream now and guard the times and yeah we'll we'll see us later bye